Hello everyone. Today is a recap and we will be recapping Genesis 1, the chapter. Today's broadcast is brought to us from Jose Cruz and Eddie Bauer. Thank you for your participation. My family thanks you and the other viewers thank you, whether you can hear them or not. Now, I left the comments open on the lesson. That was an accident. Now, this is more like an open forum where we'll discuss chapter one. Now, if things are brought up in this video uh, in the comments that are very important, we'll make another video pertaining to this and see how that goes. Okay. So when we cover chapter one, we saw the beginning. We see the earth was already here. There is no formation of the earth. The earth is already here. We see that there is darkness. We see that light is created. We see that darkness overpowers the light. When we think about darkness, darkness exists, period. You need darkness to have light. And that is what's being shown to us. When we scroll down to the bottom, the sixth day has just passed. The beasts have been created. The seeds have been created. And in 26, 1 and 26, let us make man. And we can see man is created. Not only man is created, man and woman is created. And let us make man according to our image and likeness and let them, let them have domination over the fish of the sea, the flying creatures of heaven and over the cattle and every creepy thing. He made male and female. He made them. Now, a lot of people have already started to think, well, is that Adam? Is that Eve? Now, if we read in chapter 2 or chapter 3 or chapter 4 about the creation of Adam and Eve, then this is not. I will repeat then this is not the creation of Adam and Eve. This is the creation of something called man. Now, we have to keep this into consideration because what comes after this is very important. In this video, we will be covering another video. Now, here it says God said let the waters bring forth reptiles and winged creatures above the earth and the firmament, firmament of heaven, of the firmament, in the firmament of heaven, and it was so. So right here we have the firmament being brought up. Here we have the firmament being brought up. And here. Now we're going to analyze verse 7. Someone sent a video and we're going to play parts of the video and hopefully you know uh, it's a YouTube acceptable video and it won't get flagged or anything like that. Now in 1 and 7 and God made the firmament and God divided between the water which was under the firmament and the water which was above the firmament. So, did you hear that? Water under the firmament and water above the firmament. Now, that's very interesting, isn't it? Now, here is a video. Here's the title and the author. Try debunking this flat earth firmament is real. 100% proof. So, we are at a time 
that is uniquely different than everyone in history. We have the ability to view the firmament. Now again, no, no one in history in an era before us has been able to do this. Now again, if you want to watch this video in its entirety, the title's on screen. in 15 seconds you can hear the voice in the video whomever it may be say a lake within an ocean so you can clearly see that everything that our creator created can be found today even things on the bottom of the sea 